I love to play the saxophone. I take it with me wherever I roam, and the sound of the saxophone always brings me home. I keep it with me every day, 'cause there's a song in my heart that I've got to play, and I feel it down deep in my soul. I love my saxophone. You can you run around or you can jump off the stage, and I know with the saxophone that that's okay. You can sit, you can dance, you can rock, or you can stand and sway. Now what I do is press the first key down. Take a deep breath and a good look around, and I blow in the horn, and it makes a big, big sound. So glad you tuned in. Uh, I'm drinking. I'm drinking some Chardonnay. I'm drinking our Chardonnay. This is Soundwave Chardonnay. What are you drinking? Tell us. Uh, tell us where you're coming in from and uh, hang out. Uh, I just have to say, Randy Jacobs and I have known each other a very long, long, long time. Long, long, long. And we haven't gotten to play all year. And so this is so cool uh, that, you know, you're here, we're here, we get to play, we get to hang out. Hang out. Uh, Randy's not a drinker, so I'm going to be drinking his tonight. <laughs> <laughs> It always works out well for me, so I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to drink for two. Yeah. Um, if you still need Christmas gifts, we have a holiday special for our For our wine and music. I know you need wine. I know you need music. So, uh, Randy and I and the band made this. Mindy Abair and the Bone Shakers. All I got for Christmas is the blues. Oh, oh, right? Yeah. So, What's we will that? be talking about the making of this a little bit later, so stick around. But, what do you think of this record? Well, it's still, still my favorite. Of all of our four records, it is my favorite. I, hate, I know, I know, I know, but it is like the best Christmas record I have ever heard. And I'm not just saying it because it's our record. And we talked about this, you know, people used to make Christmas records because it was just part of your your contractual obligation to the record company. You had to do something in Spanish, you had to do this, you had to do it in Christmas. You, that was just a record that you made. And a lot of those records are, some are good and some are not so good. Yeah. This is good, because we really wanted it to be good. I'm so proud of it. I'm, I'm just psyched. So we're going to do... Uh, a bunch of Christmas music for you, but we're also going to do uh, some of the songs that we've recorded together as well. So 
you get this a free signed copy if you buy a bottle of wine and so you can have a little holiday and a little you know a little wine to share amongst friends or you know send it to your your friends your enemies your boss your uh you know the people you've been stuck with uh <laughs> in shelter in place so all right you ready to play some music let's play some music okay this first song this is uh Ah, they're all favorites. I don't know. They're like our kids, right? Mm -hmm. But this particular song, Randy on the record, it just goes off on guitar. And I just think it's, it's spectacular. So uh, anyway, this is a Christmas classic, uh, but this is Bone Shaker style. This is Randy Jacobs all day long. This is called Merry Christmas Baby. <laughs> Jacobs, you can call me now. Back porch, back Jacobs. porch Jacobs. Someone asked if you're going to be doing a backflip tonight. <laughs> no. You know, I, I'll put it like this. Age is has come upon me. <laughs> Age attacked me in the hallway, and I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> there are backflips in many, many, many of our shows. Obviously, uh, 2020 was not the year of the backflip for Randy. Oh, no. 
But uh, who knows? Probably not tonight. The porch might not handle the height that Randy Jacobs would get. But in any normal night of performing, if you don't know, this guy would jump straight into the air, and it was it was Air Jacobs, not Air Jordan, Air Jacobs. Um, you know, it's funny that you know now now Eric Darius is is Air Air Eric Darius now. And well, he's, he's doing it. The you know, younger guys have taken over the mantle. <laughs> but you know, I've 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 been flipping and sliding on my knees, and back when I used to do the spits since 1973, and I am lucky not to have a hip replacement. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna leave this till later, but let me just say the first night that I met Randy Jacobs, I got hired to play. Well, I don't even know if I got paid. I don't know. Maybe none of us did. I don't. Okay. No, okay, we didn't get paid. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. It was a I didn't labor. Get, it was a labor of love. I didn't get hired. I got asked, and I showed up uh, for this band that Randy had been playing in. I didn't know Randy yet, but uh, it was a band called Hollywood Swingin'. Hollywood Swingin'. Oliver right? Lieber. Just down the street from here in Hollywood, mm-hmm. Oliver Lieber. At the Mint. At the Mint. At the, back in the winters, we call it, we, we call it the classic Mint. Back in the old days. It was fun. It was great. And, and I met a lot of people doing that. I came in 1990, at the end of 1990. Yeah. I met Oliver Lieber in a music store, maybe at the end of that year. And then he said, hey, I really like you. I like playing with you. Let's put a band together and play. And we started doing it. We did do the Mint's. Uh, every Tuesday or something, I forget. One it was one Tuesday. night of the week, yeah. and I couldn't hear for the next two nights. Mm-hmm. Could, weren't your ears ringing for like two solid days after the show, I lost, right? I left my hearing at the mint. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, right, totally. <laughs> but this band was so killer. Uh, Oliver is the son of Jerry Lieber, Lieber and Stoller. And this guy has, you know, tattoos all up both arms. He had him and Randy in front playing guitar. Uh, you know, this full band of just who's who in Los Angeles. I walked in just, you know, uh, fresh off the boat, and I was like, whoa. And I watched you, this guitar solo, you know, you took this guitar solo, and he's killing it. And he's at the front of the stage, and the place is packed. I mean, people, you know, just screaming and yelling. And he did a backflip mid, mid-guitar mid solo, Kept playing, ran through the audience, landed. I mean, it was amazing. I knew we'd be friends, and we've been friends for 20-some years after that. <laughs> hey, let's see you do that, Eric Darius. <laughs> There's challenges out yeah, now for the... You do a backflip off stage with your saxophone. Let's see, they have... You know. But no, I mean, it, it, it's funny. That, you know, my, my grandmother was a, a huge, huge fan, like T-Bone Walker, who would do the splits with his guitar behind his head. All the way down and all the way up. I mean, I've never been able to do that. I've never, I don't know how do you have that leg strength to do that, but that's where a lot of it started with my grandmother. Was like, you can't just stand there. You gotta do something. You know, it's always like that. So that's how a lot of that stuff happened. Thanks, Grandma. Yeah. My grandmother didn't say that. Yeah, she was a closet, <laughs> she was a closet performer, my grandmother. You know, she, she, she wishes she could have been on the stage somewhere, you know. She raised you. She's my friend. That's awesome. <laughs> But she, you know, I think she'd be pleased to see where it all got to, you know, you know, and, and, and uh, I love it. Yeah. Well, okay, we've got more music to play for you guys. Uh, this next song is a song that I wrote back in the early 2000s and never recorded. And uh, first time I recorded it was with um, was with Peter White and Rick Braun because we did a Christmas tour for years and years and years. And we did it on our Christmas album. It's called The Best Part of Christmas. But then we reimagined it on this cool cigar box guitar. Um, and, uh, and we just had so much fun. So uh, this is our Mindy Bear and the Bone Shakers version from our record of The Best Part of Christmas. On the windsill, and the cards are all signed, and my heart's at a standstill. Is your on my mind? And the song keeps on playing. 
playing over the carols outside now, and I can't keep from smiling because you're on my mind, and it feels like forever since I've had you here by my side. After all this time, the best part of Christmas is you by my side. And snowflakes and reindeer in this cool starry sky. And they're lighting the way here For you to arrive And it feels like forever Since I've had you here by my side And the best part of Christmas After all this time The best part of Christmas And it feels like forever since I've had you here by my side. And the best part of Christmas, after all this time, the best part of Christmas is you. audience of one tonight eric is <laughs> is running the show at the computer and uh it's us it's yeah. us the backyard the COVID thing to... <laughs> and the wine and the wine and the wine. wine's keeping me warm oh is that what happened <laughs> yeah is you're, that... you're chilly aren't you because i'm warm I, I'm not, I'm, actually i'm feeling pretty good you know i <laughs> i actually feel pretty good you know i, I, I was we were, we were sort of you know running through things early I, i'm starting to sweat like man i'm getting it's like a gig. I'm getting worked up here. It's really it's a, good. You know? It's the porch. It's a gig. <laughs> okay, who showed up? Who? So who's got, here, guys? You got a whole bunch of people drinking Soundwave, by the way. Are you guys drinking Soundwave? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> a lot of people are. And um, uh, you got Brooklyn. Brooklyn. A lot of Florida. Ooh. Of course, Florida in the house. Okay, so These are my people. I mean, if somebody from Florida didn't show up, there'd be something seriously wrong. Give right? a, Come on. Uh, do a yeah. shout out from a guy from Scotland right now. Wow, Scotland in the house, Scotland. Yeah. Glasgow, Woo. anybody from Glasgow? No one from Glasgow, uh, Canada. Canada, come yeah. on, Canada. In the great, great country of Alaska. Oh, yeah. Great country of the Alaska, country. nice. <laughs> you guys, thank I you. I love it, I love it. <laughs> thank you for tuning in. This is just so fun <laughs> for us. Uh, you know, we get to we get to play music with each other and, and be with each other, this just doesn't, happen often so uh to be able to be socially distanced to do our thing and play for you guys is amazing uh can i send a great shout out to can't stop the blues 
Can't stop the blues. You guys have been amazing every week streaming uh, my shows from the porch. And tonight, come on. We got a, a little reunion of Mindy Abair and the Bone Shakers here because this is the original Bone Shaker. He started the Bone Shakers. So I hope you're enjoying tonight and, and just thank you for all your love and support. What a cool thing. Detroit just came in the house. Of course Detroit's in the house. Hey, got that guy's Detroit. At least somebody from Detroit. Come on. Detroit. <laughs> really, Detroit? <laughs> you know, step, the Detroit is stepping up. They better step up for you. <laughs> you know. Day All right. All right uh... Oh, yeah. Thank you. I always forget, you know, uh, when we're in the middle of playing and, and having fun and talking. But if you like what you're hearing, we have a PayPal account. It goes to both of us. And, uh, and we appreciate your support. This has been just a crazy year. And I, I've never never come across something for anyone, uh, okay. anyone's profession that you're, you're gonna go a year or more without making a, a dollar, you know? So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool that you guys have been here to just come hang with us. Uh, you know, we, we're not asking you for money, but if you like what you're hearing, uh, absolutely. PayPal, uh, dot com slash wait paypal it's on the screen it's on the screen it's on the screen so it's, it's paypal dot me <laughs> how much of that wine have you had on? slash mindy it doesn't take the wine it's not slash mindy it's mindy oh see there we go I'm playing saxophone. I'm having fun with you. I, I'm not thinking about PayPal. Dot, you know. But we are very thankful to you guys for keeping us going. And so many of you, uh, just every week, you deposit something for, for uh, coming here and, and uh, listening and drinking with us. And we just appreciate you so much. That's not a necessity, but it, it's just so cool. So thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. So you... Uh, you want to play something other than Christmas music? Yeah, 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 man. It's dude, from my from my last CD. You know what I'm talking about? 2019. 19. You know, no good deed. You Are know you... what I'm saying? This is a uh, Seven Day Fool. All right. Originally by hey. Etta James. Etta James. This is a classic by Etta James, but not the one you know her for. <laughs> but it's the one we know her for. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> play it, Randy. Oh, <laughs> 
No driver to give some tonight. <laughs> oh, look at you making all that noise. One person. <laughs> that's fun. I love that. See, that's just, this is, this is a perfect night out on the porch. This is totally cool. Let's do this every night. Yeah. We want to come back and play for you so much. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we've lived our lives out on the road. And uh, I think 2020, uh, 2021 is going to be a different year. And I, I look at the vaccines coming out and, you know, the different treatments and everything. So I got my fingers crossed that in 2021, it is going to come back. And you guys and us, we are going to party. We are going to party like it's 2021. So uh, in that spirit, we are going on adventures. And uh, my husband Eric and I have started a wine company, wine and music company. And so we're going to go on adventures. And in June, which I think, I'm just going to say, I'm going to say it out loud for the universe to hear that we are going to be much safer in June. So we're going to stay here in the States and uh, go to Sonoma, California, Healdsburg, and spend four nights and five days uh, just playing music for you, drinking some wine, awesome. eating some great food. You know, it's only going to be like 30 or 40 of us and just, you know, something super small and cool. And uh, Eric lived there for about 15 years, so he's going to open up all the doors and, you know, it'll be a very, very cool, cool week. So we're going to do the same thing in Tuscany, in Siena, Italy, uh, in November 2021. And that is going to be the same thing, just in Italy. And uh, there's something magical about that place, isn't there? So uh, we're going to play some music for you, drink some amazing wine, some of ours, and, well, a lot of Italian wine as well. Hello. All right. It's all right. Um, it's all right. And since you don't drink, it's more for me. So yeah, it's more for you. It's very selfish. Very selfish. <laughs> oh yeah. So um, if you're uh, if you're at all interested in wine or music, which I know you are, just sign up for our newsletter. It's uh, at reservetastings.com, and uh, you can get on our email list and you know know the latest. But um, you know what a cool thing. We want to be back with you. So. Uh, Cheers to you guys, and uh, cheers to 2021, which is coming up pretty soon. Yeah. Cheers to 2021 being some place that, uh, some time that we can be with you guys. So, what a cool thing. Cheers. Yeah. So, uh, I think a little Christmas again? A little Christmas again. All right, I'm going to do a quick shout out to Rodney Lee, Woo! Terry Richardson, Ben White, Derek Frank. The Bone Shakers, hey, all you guys, you know, miss you guys. Hey, hey, hey. You're out there, and we love yeah. you. And we wish you could fit on the porch and be socially distanced and be uh, be safe. All right. But you are here with us in spirit. That's right. <laughs> That's Mindy Bear and the Bone Shakers. Do you want more wine? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I mean, this is all about that. He's working hard back there yeah, by the computer. <laughs> I gave her the bottle by accident. So wrong, right? Yep. Cheers. No, it's yeah. not. Oh, wait. I just, Whoa. I just drank it all. You know, it's just you know, he, he always has this built-in tan. He's a, just, <laughs> what is it? He's Italian. It's, so like, it's like built so in. You. It's like built in. I, I've never seen you not look like, you, like you're tan. Uh, if you drink a lot of wine, you get really tan. <laughs> no, I, I'm pasty white, and I drink a lot of wine. It yeah. doesn't work for me. I'm pasty white. Listen, you guys are busy. It's all our sound wave drinkers out there. Woo! <laughs> You want his tan, don't you? Hey, I know. Hey, I'm, I'm used to being sort of whatever this is. <laughs> You're beige. You're a designer something, color. Something. <laughs> something. You're a total designer color. All right. Uh, Photoshop accident. I don't know. <laughs> I wish. Uh, no. Um, this next song? All right. Okay, no. this next hey. song, can I just say, because you just did the shout out to our bandmates for Mindy A. Bear and the Bone Shakers. This next song was part of our Christmas, is part of our Christmas album that we did together. And I just have to say this, this album was the most joyous album to make because we, we took a lot of classics mm -hmm. and made them our own. There are parts of this song that aren't a classic. You made them mm -hmm. uh, and we all did it, but we did it as a band and there's something really magical about having 
a band in the studio uh, making a record together. It was awesome. Well, you know, generally, we, 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 like, in, like the other records, we, we had, uh, you know, Kevin, of course, and Kevin McKay, man, you know, Shirley, you know, producing us. This was just us and John Shemp engineering, and, and, and it was great. It was just, it was just coming in every day, just sort of, it was almost like, not that we were goofing around, but it just sort of had that real loose thing. You know, we're just doing it, you know. It was us. Yeah, just trying ideas, you know. Hey, what about this? Oh, no. And Third would say, hey, let's sing this. And, and, and him and Mindy would sing some great thing. And, and I really enjoyed that whole process. It was group. That was a good one. It was amazing. So in the coming days, I just put out a, a video of us doing All I Got for Christmas is the Blues, but uh, I'm going to put a few others out of, yeah. of some of the studio footage and stuff. And uh, so this next song, this is a classic. But we made it our own. So this is rocking around the Christmas tree. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe, huh? You can't see it. The couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear. Rockin' around the Christmas tree Have a happy holiday Everyone dancing merrily In the new old-fashioned way church bell guitar thing like ding ding that's the whole thing the church bell guitar part right yeah yeah it would be like the bells are ringing you know right i totally hear the bells ringing on that i, <laughs> I hear the glockenspiel you know yeah, yeah. it feels like <laughs> it feels like christmas to me it was supposed to feel like christmas that, that one part i've never said glockenspiel on the porch yeah. that's new was that okay? I, I, I recorded one song that I wrote in my whole life that had Glockenspiel. One song. I think we. I mean, most people might even know what it is. It's like, you know, a little. Whoop. You can just look up Glockenspiel <laughs> right now. It it's not a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get blocked, aren't you? Yeah, you got to look that oh. one up. You got you to gotta look up Glockenspiel and uh, see what it is. But you will find that it's in most every Christmas classic. Oh, yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. So if you don't know, now you know. See what you see what you learn here on the porch. 
<laughs> and if you really don't know, you can always call up the maestro. I call him the maestro. I never call him by the Dave Benoit. Whenever I, I when I email each other, I call him and I say, Maestro, I need this, or Maestro, I need that, or I always call him the maestro. Dave, Dave Benoit knows about the glockenspiel, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's powerful. It's powerful. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, I got to say that I played with this guy. We, we, we said briefly kind of how we met, you know, in Hollywood, but to have Randy over to my porch so many years later, the music that we've made together through the years is just, it's, it's just staggering, you know? I've played on his records, you've played on my solo records, but then there, there came a point, it's, it's funny, I just got a, a, a note from someone on Facebook because I, I put out one of our, our videos for Christmas and they said, wow, it's a bit alarming. It's it's pretty rough for you. I didn't expect this from you. <laughs> and you know what? I I uh, I always think like an artist. I I want to make music that moves me. And uh, you know, my entire career has been going back and forth. You know, writing music that moves me and and playing music that moves me. And uh, I've watched great artists that I admire do that. Miles Davis did that. Every record sounded different, right? The Beatles did that. Led Zeppelin did that. Linda Ronstadt could have just been a pop singer, but she went off and did a mariachi record. Yeah, okay. And, you know, all these different styles. So I want that freedom. And uh, Randy and I, I sat in with, with his band, the Bone Shakers, one day uh, many years ago now. The but Hyatt. At the, at episode... the Hyatt Newport Beach, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. The Jazz Fest. My band was on one stage, his band, the Bone Shakers, were on the other stage, but it was the same band. Basically, pretty much. Yeah, my band was his band, and he was playing in my band. The only difference was Sweet Pea Atkinson. Yeah, rest in peace, the master. Rest, rest in peace. We miss you. Yeah, absolutely. So I sat in with them, and it was just electric, and it moved me so much, and, and both of us, that we decided to, to make a go of it as Mindy Abair and the Bone Shakers. Give, and him, give Bud Harner some credit there. Yeah, Bud Harner, it was Bud, his idea, Bud, too. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was definitely, he definitely saw it. Like, well, that, that could be a thing, you know, so yeah. thank you, Bud. Thank you, Bud. Mm -hmm. So after, after four records, like, we just, we've had so much fun. So I want you to know if you don't, uh, if, if you don't know about the difference between me as a solo artist and Mindy Abair and the Bone Shakers, this was a labor of love and passion, and I just, I love every second on stage with you, whether it's me and the Bone Shakers or whether it's just playing with you. So uh, I hope you, I hope you love the musical journey that, that we've gone on, and I appreciate you sticking with all of the music that I've made throughout the years and, and uh, you know, the friendships and, and associations. I think it's so cool for you to know that and, and know where the music comes from. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, so can we do a little more Christmas music? Hey, it's, it's just right around the corner, isn't it? It is. It's right around the corner. Okay, so we talked earlier about how we met mm -hmm. in Oliver Lieber's band. So a couple years ago, uh, you called me up, you're like, why don't we go write something with Oliver Lieber? All right, that's right. That's so right. we went over to his house and we wrote this next song. I love writing Christmas music. And Oliver is a great songwriter. You're a great songwriter. And uh, I just, I think the world of this song, this was the title track of our Christmas album. Mm -hmm. but only, this album is the only two songs, Christmas songs, that I, I've written Christmas songs, but I've never had any where I, I, I just, just do them for fun at home. But got to share them with the world. But this one we did with Oliver, and then of course Christmas Fool, which is on the record. Yeah. You know, and for you really sad guys, Christmas Fool is your song. Yeah. Well, I think 2020 is that is that year that the last song on the record, Christmas Fool, was perfect. But this song could be even more perfect. Yeah. All I got for Christmas is the blues in there 2020. You there you go. Come on. Get a drink for this one. Winter 
Christmas morning Looked under the tree This year I got nothing But a whole lot of misery And I must have been real bad Must have done somebody wrong Sinner He ain't been here since I don't know how long Sometimes I think I was born to lose All I got for Christmas is a We haven't played that song since we, yeah, since 2018. That's crazy. It's been, it's been over two years. That's crazy. But that's why the porch is cool. Yeah, this cool. is not the big stage. These are not the bright lights. The porch. Although we did bring out a light from the garage tonight. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's the light from the garage. What do you think? What do you think about our very upscale lighting? We bought it at Home Depot and it clips onto the table. <laughs> Could you do a strobe for the next song? A strobe. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> getting funky now. We just want to thank you for, for uh, making this happen, for being so cool to uh, come to the porch every week. The porch. And, uh, and join us because it allows us to be together. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I've drank like two sips. This is not it. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> He's trying to be all cool over there. Uh, we just want to thank you for being here with us uh, and, and just really being a part of our world this year. I know 2020 is coming to an end, but uh, we just appreciate you so much. 
uh, it allows us to be together and playing with you, Randy, just makes me feel normal and it makes me feel at home. I know I am at home, but when you're here, it's just, it's better. It's truly bizarre, you know, for all of us that, we, that like you said earlier, we, we're so used to playing and, you know, every week almost you're, you're somewhere, you know, doing something and then all of a sudden nothing, you know, and it's, uh, it's unique in my, in my lifetime, you know, Yeah. you know, to, to not be playing or, you know, I, I've enjoyed, you know, there's, there's been some positives. I mean, you know, I, I've spent a lot of time with my missus with the cheese. Oh yeah. The wife. We Veronica, call her the cheese. We call her cheese. She's the, here. <laughs> Is she? She's on. All right. Hey. Hi cheese. We're missing you. And uh, big kisses to my, to my Garza family. Man, hey, I'm, in, I'm staying with them while I'm in town and it's awesome. They have a good time. Yeah, you got lucky. Found yeah. the right girl. Settled down. Yeah, I married mm. up. You did. You I married up, <laughs> Blanca. I'm a mm. lucky guy. Yeah. I married up. Yeah. You know, I, I can't deny it. And it's good to be stuck with someone. I know this because I, I married up too. So I'm stuck with my wine guy here. And so I get to drink my sound wave every day and, and my, uh, you know, shades of blue and all kinds of cool wine. So we get to share cool stuff uh, and be stuck with it. our our, uh, our spouses. We love that. Mm -hmm. So um, we just want to thank you for, for coming in and being a part of this. Um, we're going to play some... Uh, you know, further out in the year, uh, I've got a cool Christmas special coming up with Peter White and Vincent yeah. Ingala and some cool special guests. So that is a ticketed virtual event. So a Peter White Christmas that is coming up December 19th. Awesome. So we're going to be live for you and that's going to be awesome. Um, and then you and I are going to play with Rick Braun for New Year's Eve. So that is going to be an awesome New Year's Eve event. We yeah. hope you come to that, too. Uh, so, you know, we got some, some stuff coming up and everything. And this Thursday on our Facebook page and on the Wine Company Reserve Tastings on our Facebook page, we're going live to talk about our adventures and, and uh, you know, talk about uh, some of the safety precautions and everything that we're taking to be to be cool with that. And uh, also, if you need holiday gifts, Cameo. Cameo is pretty cool. Have you done Cameo yet? No, I've heard about it, though. Somebody was talking about it just recently. You know the band. Yeah, I heard <laughs> the band. I don't, but I, I heard it. That's what I thought they were talking about at first. Hey, I just joined Cameo, and I'm just I'm like, Okay, Cameo you? is super cool. So if you need a cool <laughs> holiday gift, I just joined, and I've done a bunch of them so far. And I'll it's super it it's super fun. So I do video shout outs mm -hmm. and I'll play you a song. Mm -hmm. I'll play you, you know, one of my songs or happy birthday or happy anniversary or, you know, whatever. Happy holidays. I'll play a little Christmas song. So uh, I just think it's a personal way to connect and it's been super fun. So I Cameo, go say, to Cameo.com slash Mindy. Oh, yeah. I should probably say that this Saturday, December 12th, I will be in my capacity uh, as musical director and guitar player with Dave Cos. Nice, that's right. right for his uh, virtual Christmas, and uh, make sure you check that out. You know, Rick Braun, Peter White, Jonathan Butler, Dave Benoit, Rebecca K. I mean, it, it's pretty amazing. You know, you I think I'm the only one not on it, and I'm going to be watching. I'm going to well, be cheering right. you guys yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's going to be a great show. But you've done it. You've done it. You, you know, because we did that was we did it together. Yeah, we did it together. You know. We did it together. And so I was like, Richard, Richard uh, Elliott is on there too. So make sure you check it out. Richard yeah. Elliott. I love yeah. Richard Elliott. No, I'm going to watch Who you guys. Who doesn't, man? Who doesn't? That guy is like. Dave Cause is awesome for Christmas. I love it. You know, it was always Dave's tour and our tour with uh, Peter White and myself and Rick. So, you know, I got to get as much Christmas as I can in there. <laughs> All right. You guys ready for uh, one final song? Oh, you're not ready for one final no, song. For some reason, I lost, I've lost. Uh... Well, that ain't right, right? I mean, you know, that maybe there's right. not a final yeah, song. Mm. Oh, maybe there is a final song. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to drink on, through this, these problems. I'm going to switch guitar. <laughs> Sometimes on the porch, things happen with guitars. It's Hollywood. Yeah. There are... You know, it's funny. That particular guitar, believe it or not, runs on a battery. Oh, it's a battery-operated guitar? Yeah. I'm Ladies and gentlemen, this is a public service <laughs> announcement. Do not get your, your uh, loved one a so, guitar that runs on a battery. You know, it runs so long, you, you, could, you, you never think about charging it. And I, and I thought, maybe that's what the problem is. 
You know, we have one of those cool touch pads on our front door oh, that yeah. runs on a battery. Uh, touch pad. What do you mean? You know, to get in, you don't have a key to oh, your front right, door. Right, right. You okay. just you just kind of press in some oh, some yeah, numbers. Yeah. yeah, we have one of those too. Yeah. Well, when the battery runs out, it's bad. We had to break a window <laughs> in our house to get in the other day. <laughs> That's why you have to keep the key. You have that. You don't have a separate like separate. We have a separate emergency key for such a thing. Mindy. We don't. <laughs> We've got a broken window. <laughs> that sounds like a final song to me. Woo! Yeah! All right, can we do one one more song for you? Bye! You guys in? You cool? You drinking? Come on. All right, I know you are. Uh, this last song, this is off the very first studio record that we did together. Mm-hmm. And I got to say, we were just down the street here at East West Studios. If you ever have the chance to record at East West Studios, do it. Frank Sinatra did it. The Foo Fighters were next door to us. Justin Timberlake was... Yeah, it was a pretty busy time you know, in there. Right you there. Know, very cool people were there recording when we recorded. It was awesome. It was just a great vibe. It was a great vibe for us. And uh, this was one of the hits off that uh, that particular CD. So thank you guys. We love you so much. This is... Vinyl. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Randy Jacobs. Thank you for having me. It was fun. He's my fun. friend. He's it was fun. most fun I play. I've had playing in such a long time. It's been it's been a long time. It's to have that much fun has been great. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Now this is awesome. So thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, drinking with us. Uh, we love you so much. And if you love what you hear, go to PayPal. Dot me, whatever it is. It's, I'm sure it's on the bottom, right? But if PayPal whatever, dot me, whatever it is, slash Mindy Aver. Mindy Aver, that's right. <laughs> it's only been a couple sips of wine, a but I still can't remember the PayPal. But Man. thank you for your support. Uh, and if you want some wine, go get a go get a bottle of wine, and you get a free sign CD. Yeah. So. All these songs that you hear on the porch, you hear with our bandmates. Yeah, that's right. So uh, do that. We love you so much, and uh, just have a great week. Stay safe, please, please because we want to see you in 2021. 2021. We love you guys. Have a beautiful night.